Well, you just got PCS orders to Camp Pendleton. I'm gonna tell you what to expect when you get here. Well, PCS into San Diego can be a dream assignment for some. The beautiful weather, so much to see and do, and the Pacific Ocean. Well, it's a large installation spanning over one county and can be a completely different experience for each family. So let's dive in and talk about your new duty station. Well, Camp Pendleton is nestled up against the Pacific Ocean in between Los Angeles and San Diego and sandwiched between Oceanside to the south and San Clemente to the north and Fallbrook to the east. It boasts a coastline climate with average temps dipping into the 40s and highs reaching into the 90s. The important thing to know about Camp Pendleton is that the base is enormous and extremely spread out. There are only a few roads going past the ranges and training areas, but some have very low speed limits. It can take about 45 minutes to go north to south on Camp Pendleton, and it takes about 30 minutes to go across. If you're looking for a train experience, there's the coaster which runs from north to south all the way from Oceanside down to San Diego, and it actually hugs the coast the entire time. There's also the Sprinter, which goes inland from the coast all the way into Escondido. There are two commissaries aboard Camp Pendleton, one on the south side of the base and one on the north side of the base. The commissary on the north side of the base is significantly smaller, but less busy. The cost of living in California can be high, so many families exclusively shop for groceries on base to save money. There are two beaches aboard Camp Pendleton, San Onofre in the north and Del Mar in the south. San Onofre offers beach rentals, cottages, RV sites, campsites, and Del Mar offers Del Mar Resort, a new facility that advertises villas, campsites, cabanas, palapas, and surf gear available for rent. They also provide services for weddings and other events. Plus, if you're a surfer, Del Mar is known around San Diego as one of the best surf spots. If you're looking for a good gym, there are 13 fitness centers aboard Camp Pendleton, and they are located all around the base from the 14 area to the 62 area. Hours may vary from gym to gym. Well, there are many housing choices aboard Camp Pendleton. Some neighborhoods have older houses built in the 1960s with small garages. Others are brand new and freshly updated. One downside of living on base is that most of the base housing does not include air conditioning. Families who choose not to live in the base housing often opt to live in Oceanside, Fallbrook, or the Temecula area. Temecula is the most affordable, but also the furthest from base access. Oceanside is known for the beaches, surf, and laid back vibe with an active tourist presence. It's also very popular because of the Oceanside Pier and Oceanside Harbor, which both have lots of restaurants, bars, and shopping. Fallbrook offers more single family homes with yards because it's more inland with more space and a quieter atmosphere. The Fallbrook Village is a quaint place with local shops and restaurants along with great hiking trails and outdoor activities. When it comes to schools inside Camp Pendleton, you'll find what is referred to as the 80-20 schools, which means that 80% of the student population is military or DOD related, 20% are civilians from the surrounding area. The schools are held to DOD standards, which often more than exceed the state standards. There are five such elementary schools aboard Camp Pendleton. Middle school and high school students attend schools off base. Well, the medium home price in San Diego is around seven fifty dollars to 800000 so it's a bit more expensive than other places in the nation. However, there are some less expensive places in North County, San Diego, including Oceanside, Fallbrook, and the Temecula area. Camp Pendleton has all the same rules that other marine installations have. Don't walk on the grass, stop your car for the lowering of the flag, don't use your phone while driving on base, wear proper civilian attire, though the rules on closed-toed shoes is generally waived at this installation due to the proximity to the beach. While the installation feels laid back because of its closeness to the beach and its lack of closeness to Marine Corps headquarters, the business aboard Camp Pendleton is incredibly serious. Let's talk about Southern California food. Now San Diego is all about the delicious food. You'll find that In-N-Out has a die-hard burger fans. Beach Break Cafe is famed as the best breakfast in town. If you love food, you should make it your mission to hit as many of the great food spots in San Diego because there are a ton of them. Now if you're looking for things to do, there's the Sunset Market. 
This market is a weekly occurrence in downtown Oceanside year round. People travel from all over to take part in the festivities that include food, entertainment, and shopping. There's also the Oceanside Pier. The famed pier is busy location and tourist hotspot. It's located in the heart of Oceanside and stretches out into the waves for great views. If you make it down to the pier, make sure you stop off at the Tin Fish underneath the pier and grab a Mahi Mahi Taco. Also, if you're looking to learn how to surf, there are surf lessons as well. And if you want to rent a bike or a cart, you can do that here. Well, I hope that gave you a good picture of what it's like to live here at Camp Pendleton and the surrounding area. This is North County San Diego Living. I'm Scott Kennedy, Prior Marine Corps. And if you're interested in the housing market around here, I would love to send you a list of all the affordable houses here in Oceanside, Fallbrook, Temecula, and the surrounding area. So I'm a real estate agent here, and I hope you're enjoying my content. If you are, please subscribe and hit that like button, and I will see you on the next one.